Hi everybody, welcome to GT Coding. In this tutorial series, we are creating this design using React.js. Now in this video, we will design this topic section. So let's get started. So here I'm in my project and let's go to the topics component. Let's open the topics.jsx file. Now the first thing we will do is we will change this div into a section. And the next thing we will do is we will import all the images that we need. So if you go back to the Figma file, here we can see we have this image and on the left side we have all these images that we need to display when we hover over each of these topics. So let's go back and let's import all the images. So I'll just type import and uh, if you go to the index.js file inside the images folder. So this is the assets folder where we have all the images and we have this index.js file. And here we are exporting all these images. So let's go back to the topics.jsx file and uh, let's import some images. So let's add curly braces from and uh, here we need to type dot dot forward slash because we need to get out of this topics folder and then dot dot forward slash for getting out of the components folder. And then we have the assets folder. So this is where all the images are stored. Right now let's add the names of the images that we need to import. So if you go back to the Figma file, here we have all these topics. So we need to get the images of these topics. So let's go back and uh, let's type frequencies. And uh, then we have DAW, Vocals Processing, Mixing. So let's type DAW, Vocals Processing, Mixing, and uh, Mixing Console and Mastering. Right now let's scroll down and uh, here for the section we will add an ID and let's give it an ID of topics and we'll also give it a class name. Now if you go back to the Figma file here we can see that for this section we have a black background color and if you scroll down for this section we have a pink background color. So whenever we need to have a black background color for the section we'll just add a class called black to that. So let's go back and here let's give it a class name of black and we will style it using CSS. So first of all let's add all the elements we need. The first thing we will do is we will create the wrapper division because we need to have all these elements inside a set width. So let's create a division and let's give it a class of wrapper. Now in this the first thing we need to have is the heading. So this is the heading what will you learn. So for that let's create an h2 and here I'll just type what will you learn. And then we have these uh, list of topics. So for that let's create a division and let's give it a class of content container. Now in this for all these uh, topics we'll create a ul and in that we'll have list items and in the list items we will type all these topics. So the first one is what are frequencies. Right now let's duplicate this list item and let's paste it five more times. And I'll just quickly update all these topics. So here I have updated all these details. Now let's go ahead and create a division for this image. So I'll just create a division and let's give it a class name of topic image and here I'll just create an IMG tag and we need to add a source over here. So let's type src. Now the source can be any of these images over here. So I'll just leave it blank as of now and uh, then lastly we need to have this element over here. So let's go back and uh, here just after this division let's create an IMG tag and we need to add the bg element one image over here. So here I'll just import that as well bg element one. Now here let's type src and I'll just set it to the bg element. So let's add curly braces and let's type bg element one and we'll also give it a class name of bg element one. Right now the last thing we need to do in this video is uh, we need to display the correct images over here. Now for that we will use states in react. So here let's create a constant. Here you need to type current image or you can name this anything you want and we need to have a function to set this variable. So let's type set current image and then we have to set it equal to use state. 
Now here you have to add the value that this should have by default. So by default, we will have this image right here of frequencies because that is the first topic. So here I'll just type frequencies. Now what we will do is we will use this state to set the current image to the correct image based on which list item we are hovering on. So for this list item, let's type on mouse enter. And here to add an arrow function and you have to call the set current image from here. So let's type set current image and we need to set it to the frequencies image because this list item is for the frequencies. So let's type frequencies over here. Now we will do the same for all the other list items. So let's copy this code from here and I'll just paste it over here for the next list item. And here we need to display the DAW image and let's paste it over here. And here we need to display the vocals processing image. And let's paste it over here. And here we'll just type mixing. And then we'll paste it over here. And here we'll just type mixing console. And then lastly we have mastering. So I'll just paste it over here. And let's type mastering. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to set the image source to the current image. So this current image will change based on the hover. So let's scroll down and here for the SRC, let's type curly braces and let's type current image. Now if you go back to our website, here we can see we have the first image displayed. Now if you hover over the second topic, we have the other image, then we have the other image. And here we can see all the hover effects are working all right. So with that, we have completed writing the code for the topics.jsx file. In the next video, I'll show you how to style this and we will make it look like this design right here. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.